First Drive Review, 2023 Aston Martin DBX 707 Sings a Quiet Riot. Please support us by pressing the like button and subscribe so that this channel will grow and provide many benefits for you, thank you. Even launch control is effortless. Put the 2023 Aston Martin DBX 707 into Sport Plus, jam the brake, jam the gas, hold until the cluster flashes red, then explode. Aston's most powerful production version of the Mercedes-AMG twin-turbo 4.0-liter V8 is outstanding. In the dawn of electrification, it's also endangered, which makes the swan song one bittersweet symphony. With most of the 664 lbft of torque shifting to the rear axle and the DBX 707's wide haunches, the SUV pulls passengers back with enough force to believe, if only for a moment, they might be left behind. The manic howl of the V8 centers it, and even though some of the engine note is piped in through the speakers, it roars with all the precision promised by peak industrial revolution. The threatened beast belies its 5,109 pounds curb weight to launch from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.1 seconds, and I've just begun to flirt with third gear. The performance variant of Aston's best-selling DBX SUV carries a lot of superlatives yet to be proven, but the exquisite engine's 707 metric horsepower translates to 697 horsepower, making it more powerful than its competitive ultra-luxury set, including the Bentley Bentayga, Lamborghini Urus, and Aston's benchmark, the 631 horsepower Porsche Cayenne Turbo GT that also has a 60 miles per hour mark of 3.1 seconds. Take it to the ring. The DBX 707 is even more powerful than the brand's V12 Vantage, which is powered by a twin turbocharged V12 that makes a measly 690 horsepower. Along with that coupe, the DBX 707 squarely puts Aston where it wants to be at the pinnacle of performance. For more than a century, the bespoke British brand was known as much for losing money as for its gorgeous touring cars popularized by the James Bond franchise. This is where we're going to put the brand from now, CEO Tobias Mowers explained at the press drive I attended last week in Italy. The 707 and V12 Vantage are a different interpretation of the brand. Mowers knows a thing or many about performance. Before he began riding the ship at the helm of Aston Martin in 2020, he was CEO of Mercedes-AMG and instrumental in the partnership between Aston and the AMG V8. The former mechanical engineer carries himself like a gearhead enthusiast, especially when giving hot laps in the DBX 707 in Aston's Proving Grounds in England in March. Mower's enthusiasm was as evident weeks later at the first drive program in Sardinia, a mountainous island rising out of Italy's part of the Mediterranean Sea. The DBX 707 sets the course as the new flagship. It comes at a critical time in an industry shifting to electrification, both to meet emissions regulations and to squeeze more performance out of four wheels. That swan song is intoxicating, burbling from quad stainless steel exhaust pipes nestled in a fat rear diffuser that sticks out like envy from the standard DBX and its 542 horsepower twin turbo V8. The extra output comes in part from revised fuel and valve mapping, and from an updated exhaust system flowing from ball bearing turbochargers. The chunky twin rear diffuser takes inspiration from Aston's Valhalla hypercar. Other changes to the low-slung body of the five-seat SUV include a larger and wider front grille, the six horizontal bars of which are two-tiered to visually separate it from the standard DBX. The front sports a revised splitter for added downforce, while grille and additional air intakes on the side and lower grille help cool the beast under the hood. Out back, a split roof spoiler creates downforce over the raked rear window. A single rear light bar rises like a mustache across the wide and muscular rear end. On the sides, fender vents front and rear help cool off the six-piston calipers and massive carbon ceramic brakes, at 16.5 inches in diameter up front and 15.4 inches in back. My test car had the carbon fiber package, as well as the available 23-inch wheels, 22s are standard, wrapped in Pirelli P0 tires. Yes, they're equally massive and the twin 5-spoke wheels push the stars so far to the edge of night on such low-profile tires that the body seems to float on them. Only in terrain mode, 
which raises the three-chamber air suspension from a standard ground clearance of 7.9 inches to 8.7 inches, does a wheel well gap appear. 2022 Aston Martin DBX 707 Unlike the standard DBX, there's no terrain plus mode and drivers should check their heads before off-roading with this stunning performance machine, but $240,000, including a $3,086 destination fee, lets you do what you want. We used it on a dirt road, through a couple inches of standing water, and up a farm road, and the milling sheep didn't question it. In sport mode, it lowers 0.8 inch to about 7.1 inches, and then there's an offload setting that lowers it even more to about 6.9 inches. I kept it mostly in sport and sport plus modes, because that's what the roads of Sardinia demanded. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.